I'm George Pearson and this is a Photoshop Elements video. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe and also click the thumbs up button to let others know as well. You can also find my complete training at howtogurus.com and also on Amazon. Just do a search for How to Gurus on Amazon to find all of my training titles. Okay, let's take a look at this. Now this is an answer to a question I get quite a lot and that's how do you save these files? We can expand upon that a little bit and answer the question now that you've made your project what do you do with it? Okay first off let's talk about basic file formats. Now all of my projects are in the PSD file format right there. It's the standard Photoshop file format. The reason for that is because of all of these layers, all the adjustment layers, different contents layers, all this kind of stuff. To have all this available and have all of the tools available, all your filters, all your enhance, all this stuff available, the project has to be in the PSD file format. Now if you open up a, another file, let's say you took a picture on your camera and it comes in as a JPEG file, as soon as you save this, once you've done some work, it automatically converts to the PSD file format and that is no problem at all. Don't worry about that. Let's say on this one I just made a copy here. So I just did one thing. I just made two layers. Now if I go to save this file save, you'll see this automatically saves or converts here to the PSD file format right down there, Photoshop file format. So whenever you make any kind of an edit in here, it will go to the PSD file format. So don't worry about that. Now what can you do with this PSD file format? Actually a lot. The most obvious thing is you can print right from this file format. Now hopefully if you're following in my instructions then your file will already be at the proper resolution for that. Let's just do a file and new up here in blank file. This is what we always do in all of my projects. Blank file. I always have them set at the default Photoshop element size which is a 6x4. Kind of a nice postcard sized thing and the resolution of 300. Now this is the important part right there. Resolution 300, that's so that it's going to print out properly. As long as you have that, if you've been following along, then you should be just fine. Now to print right from Photoshop Elements, just go to the File menu, come down to Print, or hit the Control p shortcut right there. And there we go. There's the print window right there. And there is the image on a standard 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper. As we recall, the image here is at four by six, kind of postcard size on the larger sheet of paper. So you can do all of your standard printing controls over here. Everything should be just fine. You can crop to fit or not, it's up to you. Shouldn't make any difference on this particular image. There we go. If you want to do an individual print, you can print right here from Photoshop Elements in the editor. If you want a picture package or a contact sheet, these will take you over into the organizer but same thing is still Photoshop Elements. When you're all set to go, you've done your printer, your settings, your paper size, all this kind of fun stuff, just click on print. It will go ahead then and print that out. And again, your best quality there will be from the actual PSD file format. Also for real nice quality, get the best image possible. What I normally do is I use a good quality inkjet printer and I use a nice glossy photo paper for that for the best quality. Okay let's say you didn't want to print this out but you wanted to use it online someplace. Maybe you want to email this to somebody else. That's fairly easy to do. You'll want to have a JPEG file for that. So for your JPEG go over to the file menu come down to save for web right there and there's the save for web dialog box. Once you're here on the left side you'll see the original. On the right side you'll see your conversion to JPEG. Now down below here we have a little number right there right below where it says JPEG. This is the size of the file on your drive. You have several options here. First off you can choose your file format. I'd recommend JPEG for most of your pictures. You can then come in and go for low, medium, high, very high, or maximum. Now if all you want to do is email this to somebody, I find that medium is a good size for that. It gives you a real small file size but it still has real high quality. It still looks good. It's at 30% but it's plenty to actually see this and use it, even use it online. So the medium is a good setting for most uses if you just want to send this to somebody to view. Now, if you want to put this up onto a portfolio site or if you want to use it on an online printing site like Snapfish then you should go for the maximum size right there. Now with maximum it's going to increase the size of your file. 
because this is just over 1 meg, 1.081 megs. And on that, make sure that whichever service you're using, that this is within their size limitations for the service. As long as it's within their size limitations, use the highest setting. If it's a little too large, then just drop down one setting and that should be just fine. Then there is keep this as high as you can if you're sending it to an online printing service. It gives you the best quality that way for their final output print. Okay, so there it is. That's how to work with the saving here for use online. Also for other sites like DeviantArt or sites like that, you can go ahead and use it as a JPEG, but save it as the largest file size possible to get the best quality for that. Okay, other ways you can work with your file once you have finished this off. Let's say you wanted to send this up to your Facebook account. Easy to do. In that case, go over here to the Share button, and you have four options here. Facebook right there, or Flickr if you have a Flickr account, Twitter, and the Smug Mug Gallery. If anybody follows me here on Facebook and Twitter, you'll be seeing my stuff showing up on both of those. I also have a Flickr account with pictures of lots of my images, lots of my projects up there on, on the Flickr account. I'll go ahead and put the link for that in the description so you can find that. And of course the Smug Mug. Now all of these, all you have to do is leave it in the PSD file format, no problem with that, and then click on this, log into your service. You may have to authorize the service for uploading to your site or uploading to your account, and then put it up. And the uploader will automatically do the conversion for you from PSD file format to the best format for use on the site. Let's just click on Facebook here. Give it a second to load up. And there we go, it's preparing the file that you can see right there for uploading into Facebook. I've already authorized my copy here of Elements to upload to my account, so I don't have to have that step. But you'd see that right here. Here's your Facebook window. And the first thing you would see on the Facebook window, if you haven't authorized, is an option to go ahead and authorize elements to upload to your account. Just go ahead and approve that. Once you're here, you can choose where you want to save it. You can choose who gets to see it. And then just click on Share. And it then automatically converts to the right format to use on Facebook in this instance. So again, easy to do. You can do this right here from inside of Elements. So that's Facebook, Flickr, Twitter, and Smug Mug Gallery for all those just straight save up to those sites. Let's go one more step deeper here, a little bit fancier, and this is if you wanted to use one of these projects as a greeting card, like a Christmas card here, or a birthday card, or a Mother's Day card, or whatever. I have several of these different projects, of course, for those different holidays and different occasions. And these you'll want to have printed in a special way. This would be the front of the card. You then want to have a fold across the top or a fold on the left-hand side. And then the back of the card in behind there where you'd write in whatever you want to write inside. Now I have another video on how to do the cards, how to set this up for printing onto cards. And I'll include a link for that inside of the description here. So you can then just go back and check that out as well. Plus I'll have a link at the end of this video to go right back to the one for working with and setting these up as cards. So there you go. That's how you can take these projects out once you've done a project, how you can take it out from here, from Elements, and set it anywhere you want it to go. Real fast recap, it should be in the PSD file format while you're working on it. That gives you access to all of your layers and all of your tools and menus and so forth. When you want to print, leave it in the PSD file format, you're okay. If you want to share, leave it in the PSD file format. These will automatically convert as you upload to those sites. If you want to upload any place else or send it by email, you'll need to convert it to a JPEG in most cases. And that's over here, File and Save for Web right there. Okay, so that can get your projects out of your computer and off to where they'll be even more useful for you. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.